What's up, world? Mad Savvy here with yet another Savvy Sunday Cigar Review. And today we are reviewing the G2 Cigar by Great Cliff Cigar Company. And it's all handmade uh, in the Bohemian Resort. And the resort is also named Great Cliff. So that's where you get that Great Cliff cigars from. And this gorgeous, gorgeous wrapper. Whew. Pennsylvania Broadleaf Maduro. Thus far, you see I am in the first third of it. And it is smoking good, baby. This here is a torpedo. Um, shape and you have it's a 6 by 52 gauge now that filler is Nicaraguan Dominican long filler yes very good burn very good burn and you know that's one of my pet peeves so I gotta highlight that when it's good it's good I am Impressed by that. Medium to full body cigar here. Now, what I understand about this here, Cigar and Company, Great Cliff with this G2 Torpedo cigar, they wanted to maintain and answer their audience and fans with the stick that won't just blow up your wallet but it is going to blow up your palate with great classic rich flavor this here cigar how it got my attention all right so i walk in the humidor looking around i'm seeing the different brands like ah what do i get i don't want to just sit here all day and look around because i can easily do that i can go into the humidor be in there for an hour immediately get indecisive <laughs> you know because i just enjoy the selection process learning about new cigars and which ones i haven't had you know we're always in a search of something that or we should be at least in search of something that we have not enjoyed and i saw this band here i saw that band and i'm trying to there we go i saw the band and it's like, what is that? <laughs> what cigar is that? First off, I like that it's a torpedo. I've never seen this band before in my life. A G and a two, okay. With stars on the top. I like the band. It's pretty simple yet sophisticated. Oh, yes. Oh, they delivered with this cigar. They delivered with this cigar. And it feels fantastic to just randomly select a cigar that you hadn't had before, not knowing what, what's going to happen. Yeah, it could have been a turd. The cigar that I smoked that pissed me off. <laughs> it pissed me off. Macanudo Crew Royale. It was plugged. And I could not keep it lit. I could not keep a solid draw from it. Could not get any smoke from it. I was highly pissed off, let down. With this baby right here, this is a great follow-up, making it all better. All right. So, the first third, as I've gotten all the way into it, uh, the initial light of it, I got a lot of pure, rich spice. Like, just... Spices everywhere. And the other flavor note that you can expect is it's like a heavy leather. A heavy, the quality in this uh, tobacco is very much present. Um, and I am enjoying it, you know. Uh, 
That's a black pepper right there. It's very spicy. You will get hit with a lot of spice on the first, I'm gonna touch it up a little bit. On the first third of it, expect that spice. And usually that would be like, eh, I can handle it and I like it because it has a lot of body to it, has a lot of character within the leaf and the smoke is rich filled with a lot of different notes and complexities with the flavor. I'm going to get rid of the ash. Salty. We have it like, as we get into the second, third, it's like, it's a lot of saltiness that 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 comes out and i like that that's a good that's a good trait to have with a stick you know you get that salt over the other spices that you're enjoying yes and that's what i'm saying with this cigar the great cliff cigar company maintained absolute pure quality in the leaf while bringing down the price introducing the g2 torpedo and as I was saying on my previous video that I did before the cigar review, it was a torpedo. And I was like, you know what? I think I want to keep this pattern going for a second because it takes a more experienced roller, as I said before, to make and roll these to the beautiful perfection that it's rolled to. Yes. I mean, that is a seamless wrapper. Pennsylvania broadleaf wrapper. I'm impressed with it. The way that it's rolled feels good. The look of it is good. And of course, the flavor is very much heavy hitter. So we got rich leather over the pure rich pepper. Now in the second third, what is this flavor that I'm getting? Oh, let me clear my palate a little bit. <laughs> let me just clear my palate right there. Woo, this baby is nice. Um, This is, this is complex. I like it. It's hard for me to put my finger on the, uh, the other note that I'm getting. I know it's dark, dark chocolate, like cocoa bean, like before they turn it into a chocolate bar, <laughs> you know, original beginning of a cocoa bean, <laughs> you know, but it's once again, rich. Pure, pure quality. Let's see here. People, my brothers and sisters of the leaf, I hope you guys have had yourselves a wonderful weekend. And I'm hoping that you've gotten a chance to enjoy some of your favorite cigars at your favorite place that you en you enjoy them. Um, I, send, I, I tend to be here in the office when I do my cigar reviews for Sundays. Or you will catch me lounging back as you may have seen in my other videos. Um, in my comfy, I call it the Zen Zone chair. <laughs> you know, I'll light some candles, get the, I want everything like, like my pens, rather it's, I'm writing in my journal about the cigar notes. I have my pens organized. I'll have everything around me very much set up how I want it. 
to set the vibe so that I can get this good energy while I'm doing what I love to do. The passion of smoking cigars. What more can I say? It is going to continually be in my life. Because it's a whole community. Like I have Facebook, I have IG, Twitter, TikTok. But Facebook, I gotta let you know, Facebook has an incredible large amount of brothers and sisters of the leaf. The cigar community there is astronomical, huge. Just every day I'm like, whoa, we got clubs, we got this person, that person, all of them are cigar enthusiasts, cigar lovers, just all from all over the world. And I enjoy interacting with you guys. Um, so come on over to Facebook if you wanna see some info. Now, as we get deeper into the second third of it, it's, it's calming down into a creamier, smooth. Oh, it's hard for me to put my. It's complex and very good. The smoke is very smooth. rich cream over that leather and the rich black pepper and it's it's complex but it doesn't have too many notes that's brilliant i don't know how they are able to achieve that <laughs> but i am very happy that they have Yes, it's it's very much as you get as I've gotten into the second third of it, it's changed into a less but you know that pepper is still playing in the background, drumming, drumming, drumming all along. As the cream is marching in front of the band, as the pepper and the leather just stepping on in the back with the like. Uh, And I'm liking the rhythm of this sick God damn it. <laughs> I'm loving the rhythm. You know, if the pepper and leather are going to take the back seat and just, you know, back back up the, the, the cream as it's taking the lead and leading the band to a nice rhythm of smoke as I enjoy this music. Hmm. <laughs> You're talking about a good, this is a very, very, I encourage you all, go and get yourself a G2. I chose the um, Torpedo. And you, they, of course, Corojo, you know, different sizes. Churchill, I don't know. I know they have a Robusto. That would be the next one that I smoke. Because I am going to smoke plenty more of these by the Great Cliff Cigar Company. Thank you all so much for making this fantastic cigar. And I needed a recovery from, I'm sorry, you know, I could have just had a lemon with that Macanudo crew. I'm not that fancy. Um, but that one, when it's not smoking right, it's just not, I'm not enjoying the cigar. When should you not smoke a cigar? When should you stop smoking a cigar? The moment that you're not enjoying it, when I just did not, enjoy it so I'll put it down picked up another one that i know i'm going to enjoy my brothers and sisters of the leaf i want y'all to get yourself one of these in your hands with a lighter fire it up and let me know what you think i want to encourage my brothers and sisters of the leaf like subscribe if you already have not done that if you already have done that thank you i will be returning the favor 
hit me in the comments. I enjoy talking to you. It's been a great smoking experience. Not, it's it's like a oxymoron. It's complex, but doesn't have a lot of flavors. What? Mind blowing. So my brothers and sisters of the leaf, I'll let you know what I'm pairing it with. It is the Bravo Tequila. Yes, why don't you switch it up a little bit? Since we got some spice up in here, why not get that agave into the mix? They pair well. So until next time, my brothers and sisters of the leaf, cheers.